you open your Bible to John 10 and read the words of Jesus. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. John 10, 11. Notice Jesus' care and sacrifice as the good shepherd. He willingly gives his life for you, his sheep. He sacrifices himself out of deep love for you, even unto death on the cross. You did nothing to earn this love, yet he laid down his life that you may have forgiveness, righteousness, and eternal life in him. What selfless, agape love from the good shepherd towards you. Jesus also says, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. John 10, 14. As the good shepherd, Jesus knows you intimately, your identity, needs, thoughts, and desires. David marveled that God's care included such intimate knowledge of him. Psalm 139, 1, 4. The good shepherd knows you better than you know yourself. Cry out to him and he understands your heart's cry. You can trust his faithful love and care that flows from such personal perfect knowledge of you. Furthermore, Jesus gives this assurance. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. John 10, 28. Jesus holds you securely in his hand of protection and gives you eternal life. You are safe in his love and salvation. Be assured he will never let you go. No one can snatch you from his sovereign hand. Rejoice in this secure love from your good shepherd. In addition to selfless sacrifice and intimate care, Jesus provides leadership as the good shepherd. He says, and when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. John 10, 4. Jesus goes before you as your good shepherd, guiding and leading you by his spirit and word. As you learn to recognize his voice through consistent time in scripture and prayer, you will more clearly perceive his direction and prompting. You can trust him fully to lead you on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalm 23, 3. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he leads you ultimately to eternal life with the great shepherd of the sheep. Hebrews 13, 20. As the good shepherd, Jesus also faithfully provides for your needs. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, 1. When you feel you lack anything, remember Jesus attends to both material needs and spiritual nourishment. As the good shepherd, he promises to lead you to green pastures and still waters, places of rest and sustenance for your soul. Lift your eyes to see the provision of your shepherd all around you. Give thanks for his faithful care over you. The good shepherd does not just provide generic nourishment, but nourishment that fits you specifically. Jesus told Peter, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. John 21, 15, 17. As the good shepherd, he tenders provision and care to both the young lambs and the mature sheep. Maybe you feel today like a weary sheep in need of rescue. Let Jesus carry you close to his heart. Isaiah 40, 11. Maybe you identify yourself as a vulnerable lamb, unsure on your feet. Stay near to the shepherd for protection. Jesus ministers to each according to specific needs. Ask him to show you the nourishment he has for you today. Furthermore, the good shepherd promises to lead you to green pastures and still waters. Psalm 23, 2. Not stagnant ponds, but fresh streams full of life. As the source of living water, John 4:14, 4, Jesus guides you to healing, renewal, and blessing. As you drink deeply of him, rivers of living water flow from within you. John 7, 38. Stay close by the still waters and let the good shepherd refresh and fill you continually with his life-giving presence. Finally, Jesus promises as the good shepherd to lead you down paths of righteousness, even when they pass through darkness. Psalm 23, 4. Let him guide your steps to places of divine appointment where you can bless others and grow in grace. What chance encounters has he ordained for you today? Listen for his voice to direct your way. Say yes to his call to the paths of righteousness. At times, the good shepherd leads you down difficult paths because he loves you and wants to shape your character in Christlikeness. The author of Hebrews reminds you that God's discipline flows from his fatherly love and proves your belonging as his true child. Hebrews 12, 6, 8. Keep in mind, the Good Shepherd sometimes corrects because he knows what is best for you in eternity. His ways and thoughts exceed yours as the heavens are higher than the earth. Isaiah 55, 
8, 9. Yield to his correction, so he can produce the peaceful fruit of righteousness in you. Hebrews 12, 11. Furthermore, Jesus protects you from enemies as the Good Shepherd. He warns, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. Your adversaries desire your demise, but the Good Shepherd guards you vigilantly. Yes, the prowling enemy Satan seeks opportune times to devour you. 1 Peter 5.8 But Jesus secures you in his flock and hands. Abide near him. You also face danger from false teachers who can introduce destructive heresies and lead sheep astray from pure devotion to Christ. 2 Peter 2, 1. But the Good Shepherd has equipped you to recognize truth and deception. Jesus said, Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. John 10, 5. As you become familiar with your Shepherd's voice in Scripture, you more readily identify false voices contrary to the Spirit and Word. Steer clear of twisted doctrine. Jesus protects you as his sheep who know his voice. Finally, your own sinful flesh wages war against your soul. 1 Peter 2.11 But through his death, Jesus has broken sin's power over you. Romans 6, 6, 7, 14 Now sin no longer wields dominion. You live under Jesus' lordship and grace as the Good Shepherd. Let him search your heart and lead you away from the entanglement of sin. Psalm 139, 23, 24. Confess fully where you need his cleansing and realign your heart with his paths of righteousness. In light of Jesus' profound care and leadership as the Good Shepherd, reflect on what it means to be brought into his flock. First, you enter his flock hearing and responding to the gospel call. Jesus said, And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock and one shepherd. John 10, 16. Have you heard and heeded the voice of the Good Shepherd beckoning you into His loving salvation? Believe with joy that you are now part of His growing worldwide flock under Him, the Chief Shepherd. Also, Jesus gathers all nations into one cohesive, united flock under Himself. Though you come from diverse cultures, ethnicities, languages, and backgrounds, unity and love mark his flock who abide in him. John 17, 20, 21. Be enriched by the diversity within his fold even amidst differences. You need each other. 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 27. Pursue cross-centered harmony as fellow sheep belonging to the Good Shepherd. Finally, Jesus ensures all genuine believers, whether young or mature, grow together in his flock. He gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians 4, 11, 13. The Good Shepherd feeds lambs, ten sheep, and ensures all become mature and fruitful in him. Press on beyond milk to digest solid food, Hebrews 5, 12, 14, until you manifest Christ fully. Keep in step with the Good Shepherd's pace and rhythm for your growth within his flock. Jesus as the Good Shepherd lays down his life willingly for you out of selfless love. He knows you intimately as his precious sheep and protects you from enemies who seek to destroy. The Good Shepherd provides for needs of rest, nourishment, and spiritual filling to sustain you. His voice leads you on paths of purpose and blessing. You rest securely in the flock of His faith family through the gospel under one supreme loving shepherd. Listen diligently for His voice as you follow close behind your Good Shepherd.